If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hey everyone, T1 Glistener Elf here with T1 Stoneforge Mystic. Can you say your name? T1 Stoneforge Mystic. You got it. And we are going to be playing some Popper. So this is Season 7. I'm running Infect, but I'm running Crop Rotation Infect. For those that don't know, that's this Hi. handy little card. Hi. With Jigglypuff and Meowth, of course. <laughs> uh, we're running 13 Infect creatures, no Ink Moth, sadly. Four Glistener, four Blight Mamba, four Icker Claw, and a Rot Wolf. I'm doing my intro, please, honey. <laughs> Uh, and then, you'll also see for Pump Spells, we have four Ground Spell, four Mutagenic, <laughs> four Vines, two Apostles Blessing to swing through and protect, Lotus Petal for a little bit of ramp, getting those turn one Mambas and Mirrors, Seal of Strength as a manaless way to deal with Bolt, so I can set this out and then play the creature that gets around Bolt, which will matter for this match. I have some Utility Lands, it's 14 Snow Covered Forest, and then Utility. This is plus two plus O, oh. this is Protection, this is puts a creature back on top of the deck, this is plus one, plus one in first strike. This is Bajuka Bog. So with crop rotation, those look kind of nice. Uh, and then we have some sideboard shenanigans. You can pause if you need. Hello. Ranger's Guile is bad blossoming defense, but you do what you have to do for pulse. And, uh, and we're going to see what my opponent's on. This is Scred. Uh, call it, is it Scred? <laughs> covering my face. Uh, Fairy Seer, ETB, Scry 2, Augur still, Spellsitter Sprite, Geist, Ninja of the Deep Hour. So 17 creatures, only 2 bolts, but we're running 4 Scred, Accumulated Knowledge shenanigans, Counterspell, Fire, Ice, so by my count, that's 7 removal spells in the main board. We can overpower 7 removal spells. Checking out your deck list. I keep. So Captain Gouda just saw mine, you all just saw that one. Now, eventually, I do have to actually be able to see the play field here. Yeah, I might just scoot you over to the side for a bit. Okay, cool. So, this is my hand. On the draw, I'm going to say I keep. So, it's only one land, but because I have a seal here, I can play the seal and then on the next turn play the glistener to deal with something like Scred or a Lightning Bolt. It's not ideal, but it's, it's fine. I can live with this. It doesn't look like a particularly great match. This is Evolving Wilds. Let's see what we have. It's a land, so we're going to go land, tap it, and what I could do is run out the Glistener Elf, and that leaves Blight Mamba open, but I would like to play this a little bit more safely. So we're going to go Seal of Strength and pass the turn. It does potentially leave me open to one of my creatures getting counterspelled. Uh, to be fair, though, that's counterspell. <laughs> we'll live. We'll live. Yeah, it's an island. Okay. <coughs> the tickle kiss strikes again. And you fell me down. I knocked you down. You knocked me down. You knocked me down. I'll go So going to look at the top three cards and going to put one of them into their hand if it happens to be an instant or sorcery. So we'll see. Revealing Counterspell. Okay, so that's that's fine. That's acceptable. That's uh, interesting. As you can see, folks, I'm playing with a tiny bit of a handicap. Hmm. In that case, I think it might be wise for me to play the Blight Mamba here. Uh, I don't I see any red see. mana yet, and because I don't see any red mana, I don't have to compete as strongly over the, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to play the Blight Mamba here. Blight Mambo number five. <laughs> I'm glad you're laughing at that. <laughs> see if that results. Another thing, n uh, notice in this deck, no days. So this is, this is safe. This is fine. Obviously, well, okay, actually I should mention, uh, this is post banless, so of course there's no days, but you know. Th these were created post banless. Oh, good grief. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. Tickle! Alright, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hit the button. 
my B. Slight distraction here. So on the one hand, the coast is clear. On the other hand, we do have a tiny bit of a problem. Uh, and that is, Augur Bolus is a 1-3. This is a 1-1. One, one. Alright, so they can, they can counter this Rancor, which is what they're going to do. Oh, interesting. Spell Stutter Sprite. Interesting. Oops, wait, 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 wait. Not both. Really. Uh oh. Stuck. Let's see. How do I get that off? Do I have to have to wait at ya. Refresh the page. Uh oh, okay. So I'm sorry, this will take just a second. We're in again. Okay, back to where we were, hopefully. Alright, there it goes. Now, let's see. One. All right, good. Folks. Mm. Yeah, they know what's happening. Ow, ow, my ear, Evangeline, my ear. Don't do that, please. Don't do that, my ear. You were right in my ear when you screamed like that. Thinking? See, I do have a little bit of a handicap. Right now, I have to deal with the toddler as well. So the, the decision here... I can give it protection, but that's not generally what I like to do. That's what I like to do for an alpha strike. I would, I could just simply regenerate. Just don't use any any of the cards in my hand. Regenerate. I could use seal of strength here to actually just outright kill it, and that's an interesting line. So I think what I'm going to do, if I regenerate it, it'll just be a blocker. And to be fair, at this point, that's all it is anyway. It's just a blocker, um, but it keeps cards in my hand thinking. Alright, I could kill it here by using the seal. We're probably not on the I'm gonna kill you all at once plan. Pump. Alright. So my opponent might be reading that. little bit out of order, but they get it. Good old Glistener Elf. I cast a turn three Glistener Elf. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Fetching time. Now we get a lightning bolt. I mean, not a lightning bolt. Now we get a mountain. <laughs> Gonna crack it? Oh, EOT. Shit. Cool. Good. Mm-hmm. This leaves up Apostle's Blessing for one of mine. I could have just played both out. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, thank you. me. I did tickle you. I did tickle. Aww. It was the tickle kiss. The tickle kiss strikes again. Oh, okay. So wait a minute. Wait a minute, Evangeline. He's trying to use Scred on my Blight Mamba. On your Blight Mamba? Bom Mamba, yeah. 
We're going to take two. This is okay if it gets countered. Evangeline, look. They're going to use counterspell here. Pay one. Oh, yeah, I did. I would like to be on camera, too. But now you're not. They're just saying your neck. Counterspell. Okay. That is a perfectly fine trade. I am okay with that. Partially because we have another creature in hand. Partially because that got rid of a lot of their... Silly. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk to the camera, too. Their resources. And partially because we're trying to build up for a big turn here. Now, trading one for one here, Glistener Elf with Fairy, that's not ideal. Let's go to combat. Here we go. Swinging for one. Obvious block is obvious. Hmm. If you're thinking that this is odd, this is because I'm assuming I'm going to have to be on the I'm going to play a bunch of stuff to kill you all plan. Main two. Instead of going all in at once. Plus, using that to protect one of my creatures is the same as playing another creature. At least in game one it is. And then we'll pass turn. They don't need to know that this is not a pump spell, not a protection spell. Preordain? Oh. You don't need to sound like that, Evangeline. But you did it. I don't do. I don't do that. All right, now we're doing it again. Tommy. What is this? Oh yeah, it's another blocker. Enters the battlefield. Scry two. It's a They only have seventeen block. creatures, but until I can find something like Rancor. Oh yeah, that's fine. We can live with that. <laughs> Now we're at a little bit of a problem point, though. I could really use a crop rotation. Or a Blight Mamba, that's fine. Blight Mambo number five. This is actually Blight Mambo number two. Alright, good. And it's a 1-1. One, one. And I will pass the turn. Once again, they don't need to know. I could have played the Lotus Petal there just to let it regenerate. Ah, oh, that's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. I was holding it so that they might think it's a pump spell. But on the other hand, if it's a pump spell, I'd be playing it there anyway. So that's just a misplay on my part. That's just a strict misplay. Oh, crap. All right, my bad. Unintentional. Yeah, I didn't even draw. Oh, okay. There's Spell Stutter. Hit me for one. All right, so I may be losing the game for that. <laughs> Blight Mambo is actually... Mambo. I'm now saying that every time. Is actually really good in this match. Um, because of being able to regenerate. But, alas, I have messed myself up on that. <laughs> Just going to pass the turn. Alright. So the turn counter is a little bit off now. I just messed up. Alright. Now, when we get to sideboards, we're going to see Electricery. That's the big one. Dispel is coming in as well. Um, and that's basically it. Swirling sand Sandstorm is slow, but it could get there. Right. Before damage. Aha! Taking two. And they draw a card. Yeah, this one's pretty, pretty locked up, unfortunately. Ninjutsu. Let's see how that's worded. And then, okay, and. Alright, playing one. It's all good. I wonder if you distracted me. I'm gonna blame you for not playing Lotus Petal! I'm gonna blame you for not playing Lotus Petal! 
in all seriousness, I am kind of thinking in too many directions right now. <laughs> set you right I did here. not <laughs> wait to this dead all. I did not. I like to lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Yeah, Magic the <laughs> Gathering on hard mode, folks. Here, here's something that helps. Here you go. Here's your drink. Have your drink, please. Right? And because it connected, unfortunately, that's going to be another card. Oh, so we're doing the basic land cycling, getting an island, as you do. Probably playing the island, I would imagine. Yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> there is essentially a 0% chance that one of my creatures will resolve. They've used two counter spells, actually, so there's a... No, no, wait, no, there's not a chance. They have a uh, spell stutter sprite. <laughs> Still, you know what? You lose 100% of the games where you concede, so I'm going to play it out. Make my opponent do it. If I had, it still wouldn't be, I still wouldn't be in a particularly great spot, unfortunately, so I probably wouldn't have made it regardless. When they get to a point where they attack with one of the flyers and then can trade it for a 2-2 that draws them a card... Ugh. Alright. can I help you? Evangeline, in the nicest way possible, I need you to not distract me. You, you see that card down there? When this was the only card in my hand, I needed to play that out. And I can't know for sure, but I wonder if I would have played it correctly had I not been distracted trying to deal with you as well. So if you don't mind, you can sit and watch, you can play, you can drink, you can even be in my lap. But please don't do that. So now I actually cannot win from here. Spell Starter Sprite. Spell Starter Sprite is GG. As long as they keep the mana open for Spell Starter Sprite, even if I draw. Alright. We're going on to the next game. Captain Gouda won. I still think, though, that I would have lost. Um, I can't know for sure, but that, that was looking really slow anyway. So, for cards that are coming in, Desert is interesting. So, Notice uh, the wording on desert. It deals one damage to target attacking creature. Target attacking creature. It doesn't say flying or non-flying or anything like that. And now notice here you have 1-1, one, 1-3, one, one, 1-1, one, one, two, 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 two. So desert's okay to bring in. I, I think if I can find some, something to take out, desert comes in. Um, as for other cards, Ranger's Guile makes sense. It's, it's still a removal deck. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, as for takedown, that is easily coming in. Pulse of Marasa is interesting. It gives me some life and recycles a card, but in this match, the life is usually not relevant. It's getting a creature back that matters, where Ranger's Guile might be better. Uh, as for cards to take out, Apostle's Blessing is fine because I'm dealing with a mono-colored deck. Bajukabog does nothing except it cancels the threshold on Swirling Sandstorm. And that's actual, factual, oh, accumulated knowledge. Ha ha. Uh, but that's not enough. So we're going to take Bajuka Bog out. Hmm. This is probably the kind of matchup where mutagenic growth is bad. Uh, any matchup where, now I am on the play, but any matchup that's very removal heavy, you can easily... 50 for 1 yourself. <laughs> no, a slight exaggeration, but you can get yourself into a 2 for 1, unfortunately. You use your creature and your growth, and, uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. What I'm trying to say is that it unfortunately doesn't do enough. Also, plus 2 plus 2 is not great against bolts. 
Again, Evangeline, I'm trying to focus, please. I would like to be in it, too. I'm trying to focus really hard. All right. I know you're trying to, to play. I appreciate it. But I would like to be in it, too. I think that we're going to do one Rancor out, three of the mutagenic growth, so I can still threaten the turn two. And it's okay early game against Scred. So I think that it's okay to keep one in. Alright, and we're going to try it this way. Alright, here goes nothing. And by nothing, I mean nothing. Wow. Wow. Oh wait, that's something. It has a sideboard card in it. Scry? Let's look at that top card and see what we're working with. Let's see, look at the top card. It is a seal of strength. That might actually get the job done. Might. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably what we're going for. Um, hmm. Okay, I will keep it. Forest, Petal, Glistener Elf, and Pass. T1 Glistener Elf. Is that you? That's me. Yay! Thank you. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, Evangeline, again, I might have lost that last game anyway, so that's all right. It wasn't looking like I was in a particularly great spot. Oh my god, the irony. Yep. Yep. That's the thing. Alright, back to my turn. So this means, Evangeline, that the gates are open. You know what that means? What? If I can kill my opponent this turn... If I can kill my opponent this turn, I win. Do you think I can kill my opponent this turn? Mm-hmm. I wish. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot. Alas. Alright, we're Bye. going to... Well, sadly, I don't quite have... Um, quite have enough going for me. Going to target Glistener Elf. I'm going to check again. No gut shots or anything. Pro purple. It doesn't matter this turn. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't really matter this turn. Red, just in case. But it doesn't matter. Ooh, that's interesting. Should I play the seal? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Swing. One? Yeah, if I do this, though, I would have to pop the pedal for takedown, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. I don't think that that's an issue. Hi, Jigglypuff. And if it's a Scred or a Bolt, then I won't need to pop it anyway. I'll have Seal. What's this one? Fire and Ice? Augur. Okay, that's fine. I'll live with that. Here's your drink. Ranger's Guile. Okay. Hmm. I'm 
taking it perhaps more slowly than I have to. Hmm. Ah, two mana. Another auger. Fire ice. Gee, I wonder which mode. Yet one damage divided, two damage divided. However, it's chosen, so it's one and one. Jay. Yes, honey. Um, my tummy doesn't feel good. Your tummy doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh crap! You not win. No, I, I accidentally got one of the pieces to come out when it wasn't supposed to. I got you. Nice two for one. You get to keep both the cards though. All right, the ponder's going. You only have one card left. I do. That's right. I have more on board right now, but yes, I only have one card left. And that may not have been correct, but that's a really good card against me, as it turns out. Would you like some more? I'll have mine as well. Once I get one hit to connect here, then I'll be fine. All right. Yeah, we're going to regenerate it. Yeah. Oh, honey. I'm sorry. Why did, how, how did you even do that? I'm sorry. How did you spit that out? I'm sorry. How did you spit that out? Open in my mouth. Before you had swallowed? Mm -hmm. You haven't done that since you were a baby, I think. All right, and then we'll go ahead and pass the turn. Now that that has a has zero power, we can attack with both creatures every turn. That's interesting. Oh, another auger. Okay, never mind. Now we still have a tiny bit of an issue, actually. Accumulated knowledge. Okay. You can have some more, just don't spit it out. <laughs> You're not a baby anymore. You don't you can swallow it before you before you go. Alright, so this is tricky. Um, I'm very tempted to just bait this out. Just uh, attack with both. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. We're gonna bait it out, attack with both. There is two mana open, so there could be a counterspell, and I could just get really blown out here. Alright. That's the expected one. Float white. Crop rotation. Sack it. Zip, it. Um, yeah, no, that wasn't supposed to go out just yet. Checking deck list. <laughs> My opponent is checking the deck list to see what I'm going to do, and it's pretty clear what I'm going to do, I think. I think it's pretty clear. I'm pretty sure that's a dead giveaway. Counterspell, okay. I had to try. I had to try. So one of the weaknesses to crop rotation is that if it gets countered, you've just been two for ones. Often, 
it doesn't feel like a two for one because you're getting rid of a land, but early in the game when you don't have a lot of lands like this, it really does matter. Alright, so I'm gonna stick a counter on this one. Oh, you got there. You got there. You got there. Alright. Can't I can't regen you anymore is the trick, unfortunately. Cannot regenerate that anymore. Since I don't have the extra land. I thought that I had to, though, unfortunately. Oh, what's this? Accumulated knowledge? Alright, that's fine. Evolving wilds? Okay. Maybe going and getting another mountain? What are you all the way over there for? Oh, playing with magnets. Okay. <laughs> We're doing magnet time. Hmm. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to bring back for this one. Now, this is Mortuary Mire, so this puts it on top of the library. Alright. About to say, that better not shuffle. That had better not shuffle. I would not be particularly happy. Alright. That's supposed to be a minus... Oh, yeah, we got there. I would think that you would block with this one. The one with a minus one counter. Would you like to come back over here? Oh, no, not just for a kiss. You can sit in my lap. You can sit over here. <laughs> Alright, you get to draw two cards from that accumulated knowledge. Well, it's almost over, so if you don't do it now, you're not going to have much of a chance. Yeah, it looks like it's almost over. Because my opponent is in pretty decent shape here. If I play this correctly, I'll be able to keep regenerating this Blight Mamba, but that does not a win make. Alright, you've got to fire it off now. Fire off the Vines of Vastwood. They counter it. Okay. That's gone. And that's gone. Yeah, I think we're about near the end. And the end? Yeah, I think I'm about to lose. Gee, I wonder what I was going to draw there. They have two mana. Oh, this is a weird spot for it, but okay. Fire off the Glistener Elf. See if it resolves. It does not. Okay. Well, it could be worse. Not sure how, but it could be worse. Would you mind setting those down for just a moment, please? Would you mind setting those down for a moment? Thank you. Tickle, 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 tickle! Ah! It's tickle time! Tickle tastic time! <laughs> tickle tastic time! Tickle tastic time! No, it's not. No, it's not. All right. Ready? All right. So here we go. I'm going to try. Do take one. Oh, darn it! Missed that somehow. All right. Don't take that rod. We're going to. Actually, we don't need to do that. We can go take down. Uh, probably didn't need to do it now. Yeah, probably could have waited. But an issue with waiting is that one of their creatures lets you counter it. So the earlier you get it, the more likely it is to actually go off. So we're gonna pass the turn, and I'll basically be evangeling. Evangeling. I'll basically be taking one for a while because. While it's small, it is a. Uh, it is going to get there. I'm on an 18 turn clock now. Might as well play it. Pass the turn. I could theoretically get into. Oh, not again. Get into a spot where. Oh, I'm gonna refresh the page. Where Rotwolf does something. 
So if I have four mana, I can Rot Wolf and uh, what the heck? There we go. They already made <laughs> some? Yeah, I could do Rot Wolf and Protect it. Oh, accumulated knowledge. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's a uh, that's neat. Aha! That's more like it. That's more like it. One, two, three. There we go. This is not a particularly easy deck that the opponent's playing, and it does sometimes have mana issues. Uh, because while they have the Evolving Wilds and Ash Barons, they don't actually have any dual lands. <laughs> and so, therefore, one of the issues that the deck has is that you can get in a spot where you get, get mana screwed. They're running cards like Counterspell after that. Let's see if that works. See if that resolves. Alright. I see. I do see. So this will hopefully, anyway, give me a chance to protect my creature a little bit better. I don't even have to do anything. I can just tickle! Tickle! Another accumulated knowledge? Ooh, baby, a triple. <laughs> You're not a baby. You're not a baby. Yeah, at this point, because the game's over, I, I embrace the handicap. All right. Tickle Happy scene. Moment. Yeah, tickle every moment. Scene. Okay. Happy moment tickle scene. Oh, happy moment tickle scene. That's Yay. what she said. Happy moment tickle scene. We're having a happy moment. And by happy moment. Tickle! Tickle scene. Tickle scene. Why you knock me out of that? <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. Alright, so both mountains are out. Yeah. Uh, Alright. So we're on super F6. It's a very technical time. There you go. No, thank you. I have my coffee. Nope. Five. And we're not winning this game, but oh well, it's fine. You get to play it out. Tickle, she's tickling me. She's tickling me. Revenge of the tickler. Your throat hurts. Yeah. Oh dear, you've been laughing pretty hard. Oh, oh, ow. <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't mean to, but you just yanked one of my hairs out. I have no idea what my moment. opponent's doing now. Let's, Let's play um, hair moments. Let's play hair moments. Let's play hair moments. Hair moments. <laughs> GG. Crack it a crack. Crack. Crack it a crack. Crack! 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 Crack!
Of that, we're gonna be saying goodbye. Ready? Goodbye. 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 goodbye farewell. Goodbye. Close enough. <laughs> goodbye. 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 Farewell. Goodbye. Sarah and Duck. Shout out to Sarah and Duck. Bye bye. Bye bye. 